What's up, how's everyone doing? Uh, thank you for all the views I got in my video I posted yesterday, I appreciate it. If you haven't watched that one yet, go check it out and make sure to leave a comment. We got a nice little wood box here that I paid $75 for at a garage sale and we're gonna go through it. I mean, I already looked through it when I was there cause I mean, it was $75 so I kinda wanna know what I got. Uh, there's a there's some good there's there's a few good things in here and then a lot of average stuff and then just some junk but uh, we're gonna go look through all of it. I'll knock a couple of these watches out real quick. Uh, all this stuff's really old. It's all just really old men's jewelry. The guy said it was uh, all his dad's uh, old stuff. So we have a Gruen Precision Auto Wind. Um, let's see. And yeah, this one's running. If anyone doesn't already know this, vintage men's watches bring really good money. Even though the crystal on this one's all scratched, uh, it's a nice vintage running men's watch. Case is in good shape. Uh, this is about a $30 bill, maybe up to $40. I'll have to check it out. Vintage men's watches just, I mean, sell fantastic. Let's see, got another watch right here. Andre Bouchard. I have not heard of this company before. Uh, if anyone knows if this is decent, let me know. Just uh, stand up, oh, it's missing the the winder crown on there. Uh, so that's probably only worth like maybe a dollar, two dollars for parts. Not too exciting. Got, uh, oh, there's one lady's watch. I thought it was all men's stuff. Uh, vintage, was it a Bulova? Gold filled case, little watch. Nothing too special. Still haven't got my money back. I mean, there's one piece in here that I'm gonna make a lot of money on, but so far, just got some average stuff. Uh, some cufflinks. It's a Hickok. Not worth a whole lot. Let's see if this one was sterling. Nope. Just a whole bunch of men's stuff. Some older cufflinks, just junk. Uh, just cufflink. A little key fob. Not key fob, a uh, key type clip. A little swing clip. Uh, this one is, might be gold filled. Yep. 12 karat gold filled. So if this isn't chipped and the other ones in there, this is uh, probably 10, 15 bucks. Put that with the butter stuff. Here's the tie bar for it. Cool. This is this is nice. Nice little Tiger Eye Cameo uh, vintage gold filled set. Hopefully the other cufflinks in there. If it is, that should be pretty good. Let me see if I can see it. There it is. Nice. That's a good little good little set right there. Uh, just got some more. Uh, this might be gold filled. Yep, 12 karat gold filled. So for anyone who knows, doesn't know, if you're at like a garage sale or something, you see uh, this other one here. Yep. If you guys see gold stuff that's marked like 12 kgf or 10 kgf or 1 20, uh, that's gold filled, and gold filled stuff is really good. It's basically equivalent to sterling. Uh, in my opinion, it's better than sterling as far as like uh, precious metal value goes. I always get more for gold filled than I do sterling when it comes to like uh, scrapping and stuff like that. So we got a, this was a Hamilton, I think. Uh, Hamilton Electric, I think it just ticked. Maybe not. I'll mess with that later. And it says Armco on it. Armco Hamilton Electric. Um, I don't know if this is a battery or not. No, I don't think so. I'll check that out later. Might be decent. Uh, there's another cufflink for the set. A little junk cufflink. Uh, cufflink. Cufflink. What just flew out this? It's costume. This, I saw these were in here. This is an Armco. Oh, that's the same thing that was on the watch. 
Loyal service. Oh, that must be the company he worked for then. Let's see, it's probably gold. Looks like it, yep. Nice, got a little 10 karat gold uh, pin right here. Armco. And I saw there was another one in this box. So basically, uh, I was at a garage sale and I asked the guy if he had any uh, jewelry that he wanted to sell. And he said, he said he just had a little bit of his dad's old stuff that he would get rid of. And then a couple minutes later, he came out with this box. Uh, so I really didn't look through it that well. There was just uh, one, this watch right here that I'll show last was in there. So when he said he wanted $75, I knew this watch would definitely pay for everything. So I said, okay, but I just briefly looked through it. I saw this one that was in the box. I opened this little box. I did not know there was a second one in there. Uh, this box has Armco on it as well. Not sure what company that is. Hopefully this one, yep, this one's 10 karat gold as well. 30 years of service. Nice. Uh, some more junk. I'll try to go a little faster. I think they're... Oh, that's good. I think all this is just junk in here. That's junk. So we got one more uh, Armco pin in here. Another service one. This one's probably gold as well. Yep, 10 carat. Uh, I think I have my scale. Yep. See how much these guys weigh real quick. My guess is probably like six grams, maybe six and a half. And I was a little off. Uh, 7.92. Uh, roughly in my head, I think that's $150 ish. 150 bucks. Should be somewhere close to those. These might be worth more than uh, more than the gold value. I'm not sure. I haven't have not heard of that company before. And then I don't know if that if it's a good company, it might up the value on this watch. Anyways, I'm taking too long for ranting. Uh, the main reason I bought all this for 75 bucks was this. So, anyone who likes watches definitely knows what this is. It's a vintage Omega automatic men's watch. It has a pretty big case on it. And it did run. So it looked running good. And uh, original Omega dial, really clean, I mean, now, I know you guys are probably looking at this like, oh, it looks like it's all beat up and stuff. But, I mean, it is. If you put a new crystal on this and cleaned up the case, I mean, the look how clean the back of this case is. One second. Uh, it's I, I don't, you need a tool to open it up. I have one. Uh, I have not opened it up yet, so I don't know the model number or anything. I just got this literally yesterday, all this stuff, so... I have not opened it yet or anything, but back of the case is really clean. So yeah, all it really needs is a new crystal and uh, to clean the dial up a little bit. And this, this would be a really good looking watch if you put it on a leather band or something. So a vintage Omega like this is worth running with the gold filled case. The one, These cases are worth more than the stainless steel ones or the rolled gold plate ones. Uh, this is about a $250 watch. Uh, if I could open the back and get the exact movement number on it, it could be up to like $300. So that is why I bought all this for 75 bucks. So overall, it was a good deal. Uh, probably 250, 150, 23, that's probably like 400. And then maybe all this stuff, another 100 bucks. So maybe like 500 bucks, wouldn't be surprised. Something around there. Might probably end up keeping this watch though. So thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure to leave a comment so I know who watched the video. I like seeing who views it, even if you're just saying hi. And I uh, hope everyone has a good day. Thanks for watching.